Right, hi everyone and welcome back to um, Stack Attack uh, 750 Part 2. This is uh, this is again from the recent collection of around about 750, I say 750, that's just to clarify which collection I talk about. Um, and uh, this, uh, this case, I'm hoping, hasn't got any more Frank Sinatra's in it, uh, or anything like Doris Day's or especially Mario Lancer because if there's any of those there you won't be watching this video so obviously there's not any Mario Lancers in here so yeah this case is uh, falling apart really it's uh, let's open it up and we see yeah uh, it falls apart I have had it opened and looked at it like that I could see what was there but I can't see what's in there but I'm a bit worried about these ones here that have got no sleeves on. There's a few here, about three there, I think, three or four that have got sleeves on. A bit worried about these. Let's have a look. Let's go through. Let's see if um, my investment in 750 78s was good or bad, and we'll carry on and find out. So the first one is a uh, is Master's Voice. Uh, oh, oh! It's uh, well, it's uh, it's a Tommy Dorsey, Tommy Dorsey and his orchestra, uh, Boogie Woogie, and on the other side is the Roof Blues. So yeah, that's encouraging. That's encouraging. So that's on the that's on the keep. Let's just bring these up a little bit closer, like this. Um, the next one, uh, Glenn Miller. Moonlight Serenade. I think I've got this one actually. An American Patrol. Uh, well, it's a Glenn Miller. Uh, it's it's, uh, it's a keep, but I will uh, probably be moving Glenn Miller's on. Really, uh, I made a decision that so I'm going to find out. Oh, we've got a, got one here. It's a capital. I've made a decision that I am going to probably sort out my Glenn Millers and then probably move them on. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of. Uh, listening to a lot of Glenn Miller these days so <laughs> that might shock some of you I don't know Nature Boy Nat King Cole and on the other side is uh, the Christmas song mm, is this the second one I've had of this I'm sure I found another one only Christmas song well yeah I'll, I'll keep it for the time being that one just for the Christmas song but I'm sure I'll come across one did I not come across one last time I might have done. Uh, the big noise from Winnikita. Is it Winnikita? Winnetta? Winnikita. Winne Winnita. Oh, I can't say it. Sod it. <laughs> anyway, it's the big noise. And it's Bob Bob Haggart, string bass, and Ray Bulldock, drums. Oh, okay. Uh, on the other side is Honky Tonk Train Blues, Bob Crosby. And his orchestra. Oh, that's got to be worth a keep. Definitely. Um, and we'll probably end up putting that onto a listen pile. Well, what I'm going to do with the listening to is I'm just going to go through all the keeps and just pick out the ones I think I need to listen to. Honeysuckle Rose. Uh, a jam session with Tommy Dorsey, trombone, something Berrigan. Oh, Berrigan on the Waller. Yeah, quite a few of them there. So let me turn around there. And blues, it says on the other side. So another jam session. Interesting. I could, I, again, I think I'll come up with a jam session. So it might be my second one. Jumping. Hot Lips, Page, and his orchestra. And on the other side is uh, Rock It For Me. Again, Hot Lips and his orchestra. I've not heard this well I've not I have no idea what this is gonna be like, but it's swing because it's on the swing music um uh series. Uh let's take that out, shall we? Um another HMV. Again it's honky tonk train blues by Mead Lux Lewis this time. And on the other side is uh, 
Whistling Blues by Mead Lux Lewis. Hmm. Very interesting. I do not know again what that sounds like. Uh, another Glenn Miller on this one. Uh, it's the Take the A Train. I don't think I've got this one anyway. I do like take take. I do like some of these. I am quite keen on listening to them at times. Uh, slip honk jive, slip horn jive. Sorry, did I say honk? Slip horn drive. Uh, Glenn Miller and his orchestra. If it was Glenn Miller on a different label, I'd be interested. I have got. A, I did buy a Glenn Glenn Miller. I bought one on the uh, Brunswick label. So I do like Glenn Miller, but I'm not. I'm not. So, <laughs> I've got a lot of them. I've got a lot of them now, I think. Um, Havard Blues. Count Basie. Nice. Nice Count Basie there. Bit worn, this. It's got a lot of wear on it, though. Uh, a coming out party. Again, Count Basie. But this is a very worn, very worn looking. Seen a lot of gramophone, I think. So we'll see what that sounds like. On the Capitol, we have oh a Benny Goodman on the Capitol. This is going to be a 50s Benny Goodman, which I'm not always that keen on 50s big band, to be honest with you. Um, for every man, there's a woman. And on the other side is uh, on a slow boat to China, which is classic, but it's... If it's in the 50s style, the style has changed, you see. 1950s and uh, I just not that keen not that keen on uh, 50s uh, big band or even 50s jazz of any sort really um, Caledonia Caledonia Woody Herman and his orchestra again we got this name here A. Finnison so it's the same collection Goosey Gander come up with that one before as well i'm sure i've got a copy of this but we'll keep it so i'm well, doing all right for keeps so far i must admit i'm quite i'm quite uh it's better than the last uh the last one we did first one bing crosby uh my baby said yes oh with louis jordan ah oh, so that's an interesting one louis jordan again with bing, bing crosby and with louis jordan your your socks don't match. There we go. And the uh, oh, last of the ones of fat sleeves. Boogie Woogie Count Basie's Blue Five. Ooh. Yeah, and it's not, it's just a bit better condition, this one as well. Jump for me, Count Basie. So a couple of nice Count Basie's. This one, I think, is in much better, well, it is in much better condition. Now we've got these ones in sleeves, so we'll have a look at these. I'll put them down here. Oh, sorry. Put them out, out of sight. Parlophone label. Benny Goodman and his orchestra. Turn on my hands. And on the other side is uh, Scarecrow. Hmm. Don't think I've heard these ones before, so this might be quite a good find actually for me so there we go uh, Brunswick label you blew out the flame in my heart Tommy Dorsey and his orchestra Tommy is not I'm not it's not my favorite I know he was very very popular sold a lot of records a uh, big band in his day Tommy Dorsey um, but uh, the Hula Hula Boogie. Yeah. This might be a, an earlier, an earlier of his earlier stuff. Um, so it might be quite good. So I'm going to put that on the keep too, of course. So no rejects as we so far. And this is a Victor. His master's voice, Victor. On the Atchison, Topeka and Santa Fe. Tommy Dorsey and his orchestra. Wow. And in the valley. Again, Tommy Dorsey and his orchestra. So that's this is not a bad find. This is not a bad find for me. I don't come across very many of these uh, labels. 
and that's it really uh, yeah I think we'll call it a day on that so not bad fun I'll put these all up on the shelf and we'll go through them and we'll have we'll, we'll sort out uh, or listen to one day in the future right so thanks for watching this uh, <laughs> I hope uh, maybe there's something there which interests someone they can tell me if it's uh, if it's good rare or something we'll see I don't think there is anything rare there but it certainly is better than the first lot. So again, thanks for watching this. And I'll be back again uh, with another sort through in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the future.